Welcome, my name is Matt, or to Beast 34 and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own water portal that when you jump into, it teleports you to wherever you want on the map. So to do that, like I made this one giant one, but you're probably going to want to make one like this small. And yeah, so like there's like many commands you can do to make it. You have to use command box, so to get a command box, slash give your name, so whatever the first letter of your name is, then tab command underscore block and also you may want to do slash game rule command output false so that um like the output of the command block doesn't show in the screen unless you want it to so basically what you want to do first is build the outside of the portal and I guess you can do like uh that or whatever. I'd say to start off, you can try like a two by two or something, something similar to this. You can do so like that, like that, like that. It's like a classic design, something like that. So now what you want to do? Place a command block two blocks down and slash tp at a that means teleport all players or all, yeah all players and put the bracket things r equals however much you want your radius to be another one of those and then you put the coordinates in for whoever you want to teleport so what you want, may want to do is like clear up the chat because it may be a little clogged depending on what you did so to do that f3 plus d and that cleared it up now to get the coordinates of where you want to teleport to, you can do, uh, I'm just going to make a platform where it's going to be teleported to. So to get the coordinates, you press F3. And if you want the exact coordinates, you can do that. Like, the exact coordinates with the point 136, you don't have to do that, but that is the direction you're facing. So if you want it the direction like the right thing, then put in the point buttons. So then you can enter that into the chat if you want. And then go in there and just type the coordinates. Or you could have copied it. But I'm just entering it into the chat. Uh, 4.11.1365. Make sure you put the negatives in. Otherwise, it's totally different, the coordinates. It's not even, like, close. And this does not work right now. Because, like, it's just, like, um, some stuff is disabled, but I'll show you that in a second. So you put the same exact thing in the other command block to have, because you want to put it, like, the radius equals 2. Unless you want to put radius equals 4, but that means it goes forward 4 blocks, up 4 blocks, and down 4 blocks. So then you put in the coordinates. 1, 3, 6, 5, and 4, 13 point. I think that's right. So now this still doesn't work, so what you want to do is make it repeat and always active. And now it will work and always active, not chain, repeat. And there you go, you're on there. But now you want to add in the water. And to do that, it's uh, pretty difficult. So you have to have like this command thing. And the command that like, it like sets a block to air. It sets an air block to like um, make believe it's an actual block so like you see it's, it would be invisible it's an invisible block basically so you want to place that so the water doesn't come out of the thing and the uh, the command for that block thing to like set an air block it slash set block the these things minecraft dash piston underscore extension that's basically setting like the piston extension it, like plugs in like a uh, air block. I had to look this up because I had no clue what it was. So I'll place that now. And if you may want to like place it to get it make sure you place it directly where you want. Like put a little barrier around so the water doesn't like flow your guy out. So now you go up here and control V and there it's an invisible block and you cannot place blocks on top of it. That's that's what it just did. Now down here, to deal with that, you can place another one of the thing, if it's not working, like, it's gonna come out, yep, 
and then I'm just gonna place this again like a little barrier and whoops Th that's what will happen if you get too close so you can always just disable it by switching it to needs redstone and that's actually helpful if you want to disable it like temporarily and there we go switch it to always active always active put some glowstone there and there we go and boom but let's say someone jumps while they're going to the water portal it's not gonna work until they hit the bottom so to fix that you can put a another one of the command blocks at the back like um I'd say right there and maybe R equals uh, three repeat and always active and maybe copy that again on this side but the bad thing is if they're walking around the portal then it's gonna do that but if so you may have to want the portal facing like the back of a wall so they can't see that and they can't go around this portal or they want to like wall that off so now if they jump boom it's all good because three blocks is one it's one two three is it up there it's basically the water let's see what two is you can like test the you can keep on like trying different stuff with the command blocks to see which command fits the best which radius thing that, uh yeah that's better so that's good r equals two and that's basically it but let's say you want to make a giant water portal like this all you do is the same exact thing place air blocks along the top and along the bottom and then you put a command block along each one of these and you can if you want put it along the back and now you, this looks pretty cool and then you can just do i don't know why i still have that up then you can just go that and it's good so that's it thanks for watching everyone and i'll see you guys next time Soldier boy, tough. Hey, I got this new dance for y'all called a soldier.